Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chaos and today I'll be showing you guys the Roserad submachine gun in multiplayer. So this is a Ket submachine gun. That's why it has that greenish tint and it's kind of bulky in the front like all the uh, Ket machine gun or Ket weapons kind of look like. And uh, it's a pretty good submachine gun. It's uh, not the best, but it is up there with the top, you know, I'd say the top three. Um, the damage on this thing is 48, which is very good for the base damage, you know, right out of the box. It's very strong. Um, the rate of fire is 225, and this thing is translated to infinite fire. So with every bullet that you shoot, the rate of fire will increase, but it does have a cap of how uh, much it will increase, but it doesn't say that in the description. I just noticed that by putting a like a magazine clip capacity on it, and I was shooting it, and it, it does like you can you know listen for it, and it kind of sounds like it, it just stops. You know, it doesn't go any higher. It, it does reach a cap. But it, it does shoot pretty fast, you know, overall, which is pretty good. Uh, the clip size is 70, which is pretty high for a submachine gun. Um, I think it's one of the highest. And the max ammo is 420, which is pretty high. But with the clip size, um, I found that I was hitting the box pretty often with this weapon. So the max ammo, I feel, is kind of low. Um, the accuracy is 55. It's, it's about half. Uh, you got to be pretty close with this weapon. You know, the range is pretty good. The bullets go really far, but they start to bounce all over the place and it gets very inaccurate from long distance. So I do recommend using it from a close range. And um, the weight is 10, which is very low. It's not the lowest, but at 10, you know, with the damage and the rate of fire and it being a submachine gun, it's pretty good. Um, if you need that recharge speed at 100%, this is a very good weapon for that. And you know, if you do have the equalizer and let's say you're running another character and you need just something slightly less, you know, heavy than the equalizer to hit your recharge speed or if you just need something like that, the Roserad pistol is a very good, uh, it's a very good weapon for that. So I do recommend it. You know, if, if you do get this, I do recommend using it. It's very good. But, you know, like I said, it's not number one. So if you do get the equalizer, that's, that's you know, the one I do recommend going to. But if you get this first... Uh, very good, you know, submachine gun, you know, pick it up, use it. It's very fun to use, very strong, and it's very good overall. So this is just a little bit of a bronze gameplay with the weapon. Um, what I didn't say before, though, is this weapon is good to pair with somebody that has, like, turbo charge, maybe the Turian Soldier or the Turian Havoc Trooper. Uh, with the high clip size, you know, it's very good to use with that move. And with the weight, it's also very good to use with, like, uh, anything that uses powers a lot, so I combined it here with the Asari Duelist, and that's what I'm using right now. Um, I'm just showing a little bronze gameplay to show you guys how strong it is. You know, if you do pick it up early on the game and you want to use it, you know, and you and you can only use bronze, then it's pretty good still. It's very strong. Um, from range, like I said, they'll see how the bullets, they kind of go everywhere. But it still is pretty strong. You take down enemies. But I do recommend being up close. You can take them down quicker. You know, it's very strong, very good weapon. But, um, so like the distance though, you know, if you're real far like this, see the bullets, they just start to go everywhere. It's very hard to, uh, hit all your shots consistently. So I do recommend just staying, you know, staying close to an enemy. You don't have to be real close in their face, like the equalizer, because you know, the equalizer has that uh, range drop off, but this one, even from far, you know, you can you can hit enemies from far. Maybe something big like uh, Berserker, Hydras, you know, the uh, the Fiends or something like that. You can still hit them from really far, and you'll probably hit uh, you know a good amount of your shots. But the little guys, I do recommend kind of being closer. You know, because the accuracy is 55, so it's it's not that great. But this is a good pistol overall, a good weapon. Has decent, you know, damage, decent fire rate. The increased fire rate is actually really good. But um, the clip of 70 though, you know, if you just start shooting it, you kind of listen for it to go higher. You know, but it kind of does stop. You can notice it more though if you have a higher clip size. You can notice that it it doesn't really go much higher than you know infinite like it's supposed to. It does have a cap. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.